Hi, in this tutorial, we will learn about character function. So what is character function and how to use this character function in our real life? So we will understand all these one by one with real life examples. So first, what is character function? So type here equal to character and press tab and click on this insert function. So we got insert function dialog box. Here we have one argument number and what does this character function do? It returns the character specified by the code number from the character set for your computer. That means here we have to in the number we have to put a code and that will return a character from the character set of your computer. So what code we will put in the number? So it is a number between 1 to 255 specifying which character you want. So 1 to 255, this is a character set for ASCII, that is A-S-C-I-I. So if we put here 1, we can see here a blank within double quote. That means this 1 returns a blank, that is a space. If I have 2, it is also giving us a space. If I type here 10, you can see here we got a line break. And now, if I type here 65, it returns a capital A. If I type here 97, small a. In this way, each and every code returns a character. So let's understand and see all the characters from 1 to 255. Cancel this and type here equal to char, then tab then select this cell a2 bracket close then enter we can see here we got blank now we already have a number from 1 to 255 you can see here and now we will drag this formula till the end so you can see which code have which characters you can see here from 65, you can see we have capital A. In 64, we have at the right symbol. From 97, we have small a. And there are various characters you can see here. We can also change this character with the help of font face. So first, let's select this and change the font. We will go at the end and select windings. So first characters are not changed but you can see from here this character got changed. In 65 instead of capital A we have this symbol. You can see we do not have the previous symbols. We have the symbols related to windings font. If you select windings 2 it changes differently. So, in this way, you can also change the character with the help of font paste. But the default characters are this. These are the default characters. You can see here, the number starts from 48 to 57 and later start from 65. That means when we short these characters, the help of short small to large or large to small then it automatically understood that this character is greater than these characters that's why these characters that means these codes help to short this data also so we understood what character functions do now how to use these characters so here in the example 2 you can see we have name, address line 1, address line 2, city and state. We will combine this address in a single cell. So to combine this, we can use AND symbol or concatenate function. So here we will use AND equal to this cell and this E3, then F3 and sorry and G3 and H3. Now, if I enter 
these texts are combined but we cannot understand where is address line 1 where is address line 2 so we can put a comma between them or we can put space between them or we can break the lines that means this will be the first line this will be in the second third fourth fifth line so first we will see with the help of comma so here we will use comma so what is the code for comma you can see here comma is 44 so if i use here character 44 then and and put this after every cells sorry select this one and put after every cell range okay a press enter you can see a comma between them okay now the control z now here we will break as a line so here we will let this text as it is and here we will do another function equal to this cell and character 10 character 10 gives a line break so bracket close and select this copy it then select this one then paste here we have to put and and then here this cell sorry this cell then and this cell and this cell so first d4 and character 10 e4 character 10 f4 character 10 g4 character 10 h4 now press enter so you can see it's looking same it is as it is but if you select this two and click on wrap text you can see this text is in a single line but this text got a line break so in this way you can use this character function to break the text between the characters so drag this down you can see all the address are combined and each value is in the single line now we will understand the third example so here you can insert a copyright symbol and here we get a copyright symbol with character function in excel so we have we can use when we write a text and we want a symbol and we don't know how to type this symbol then if we know the character code for this symbol we can use that so here if we go here we can see copyright trademark is 153 copyright is 169 so we will use here trademark trademark is 153 so here we will type you can sorry equal to within quotation you can use trademark symbol and space double quote close and character 153 bracket close and double quote start with sorry here we have to put one space and function in excel full stop double quote close enter you can see you can use trademark symbol and here we got the trademark symbol so we can use the character function in this way also and now the fourth example sometimes we get the data like this there are line breaks or unwanted symbols or spaces anything when we copy the data from website or maybe you get from any other person as a data 
and we have to clean this data so here you can see one symbol and line break and we want to remove this unwanted character that means we want to clean this data so to clean this data we can use substitute we can use stream we can use clean all these functions are used to clean the data so here i will use substitute function to remove these characters so here type equal to substitute text is this one comma old text so what is the old text so old text is this character so the code for this character is 127 if you go here 127 you can see we have we got this character here for code 127 so here we will type old character character 127 comma new character null value that is double quote and bracket close and enter and we got this value with no unwanted symbols but you can see here we have an extra space between d and pick so to remove this extra space you can use stream function so here before substitute use stream and go to end bracket close and enter now we can see we do not have extra space between t and pick so in this way you can remove the extra spaces or unwanted characters now here we want to remove this question mark and put this text in a single line and we have to enter a dash between all these characters so what is the character code for this question mark and the dash so let's see 63 for the question mark and 150 for the dash so we can type here equal to substitute so what we will move here text we will use this then comma old text so our old text is comma the question mark so question mark is in 63 so character 63 bracket close and our new text will be this dash that is 150 character 150 bracket close then bracket close for substitute you can see the question mark is removed and we got instead a dash now we have to remove the first dash so here again type substitute comma so this became our this substitute became our text then for old text we'll use this 150 character that is character 150 we have to remove this and use double code that is blank comma instance number so there are one two three and four sorry three so we will remove the first instance for the dash so we will type here one bracket close enter so you can see the first dash is removed so in this way you can clear the data and if here it is a formula and if you want only the text just copy it and paste it as values you can see we got only these values so in this way you can use this character function in your daily life problems so i hope you have understood this problem but still if you have any problem regarding this tutorial you can write me in the comment section and you can download this practice file the link is given in the description box if you like this video Please hit the like button and share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel to get regular notifications when we upload new Excel videos. Thanks for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next tutorial.